What's up everyone, today I'm gonna be reviewing the top 7 3D games in Scratch. First we have the Ninja 3D, so let's go ahead and get into it. And would you look at that, actual 3D game in Scratch. Let me, just so you have an idea how hard this is, Scratch is 2D. You can only have 300 objects on the screen at the same time. So that means this guy, he had to make some serious choices. Just a bit more practice, so... Scratch, I can't use the mouse, I have to use the arrow keys to move around. Pretty hard, but that's just Scratch. Scratch is dumb, I think. Okay, E to throw the ninja stars. Ooh, look at that. Like, the amount of work and dedication that went into these projects is just... It's insane. People recognize this. The targets, okay. So, why does it keep on turning on lag reduction? That's annoying. Okay, boom. And you could see that the sprites, they look kind of rotated, the green ninja. You had to do that so that the game looked actually 3D. And it's a really nice effect, I think. Ooh, water? Look at that water physics and scratch, everyone. You've seen it all. Ooh, I have to shoot the targets. Okay, okay, okay. So, boom. Do I have like a breathing? Okay. Okay, last target. Yeah, this is not a competitive game by any chance. Trying to view something with just the arrow keys instead of the mouse, it's hard. Ooh, uh, like follow me. I played the original. Shoot them with the ninja stars. Ooh, Ooh oh, that's scary. That's actually creepy. Oh, he even has artificial intelligence. Wow. Like, gee, can't imagine making this. Game. Obviously the ninjas. Yeah, obviously they can hang on walls. Oh, I died. What? Wow, that death animation, that is very nice. I can only take two hits. It's so hard to see with the the, the screen. Ooh, a sword. How am I supposed to get the sword? Tell me, how am I supposed to get the Oh, it's a moving platform, I see. Getting fancy, huh? Can you move down, please? How am I supposed to get up there? I can't get up, I'm stuck. Cube Field 3D by One Dat Doodles. Now, this guy, his games are just amazing. So, it's a very smooth game. You're basically dodging all of these cubes. This game is addicting. I've played it before, and it's so fun, especially if you turn on music. The game gets pretty hard, and this also qualifies as 3D. There's... Ah, I'm gonna get to... Let's see, let me see if I can get to 2000. Whoa. A bunch of cubes just spawn there for no reason at all. Oh, this is pretty easy. This is easy. It needs to make it harder. There, 2000. Okay, next game. Golf 3D. A ray tracing game. Not ray tracing, like, his name is ray tracing. It's not actually ray tracing. Okay, click on the screen to shoot. I've never actually played this game before. I, I actually, this kind of qualifies as 3D. You can't, like, move the point of view. You can't move it. But the ball, I think, I think that's 3D. That card. Ah, oh, you could fall off the level. I touched the red thing and it and it didn't kill me. Ooh, no! I can't believe people can make such, such great games in Scratch. These people are the true. Pro no, ah, I was about to say these people are the true pros. They're the ones that make a hopeless website seem hopeful. Yes. No. Oh. Ah, okay. Why? Okay. Please. Yes. Yes! What? I didn't even touch it. Replay. I didn't touch that. Yeah, I quit. I quit. Next game. Jelly Jump. This was made in 2003. I remember I was addicted to this game. It was so cool back then in the default scratch. So basically, you're just jumping from platform to platform, and if the jelly get hit by the jelly, it dissolves you and you die. So it gets harder as you go along. You're just jumping through the platforms, you're timing it right. That's all that you're doing. And with this game too, you can't really move the camera around, but still, it's pretty cool. No, I died. I got sucked into the jelly. I just noticed that some platforms, they close slower, slower than others. And there's also different shapes. I'm pretty sure there's like a triangle, there's a sphere. These platforms are the hardest. No, I died again. For this next game, this is something special. This is a project that I found a while ago, and I downloaded it to my computer, but then it got unshared, and it is, as, as you can see, unshared projects are no longer visible. But look at this. 
This is a 3D object being completely rendered and shaded inside of Scratch. Look at the cylinder. How impressive is that? Someone spent the time trying to make this. We could move around, we could view it. Whoever made this, please call yourself out. And you can even put in your own 3D models, like the mesh loader. You have to download the 3D model, and then you put, you paste all of the coordinates of the 3D model into here. Look how, lo look how long that block goes on for. We have Hideout 3D. This is kind of a, it's the people who made Crossy Road. I forgot what it was called, but basically you're driving around and you're, how did I get? Yeah, so you're basically driving around and you're avoiding the police. Ooh, that was close, that was close. So yeah, it's a pretty huge map. No, let me get it, please. No. I'm gonna try to collect it again. Let's go around the map and see where it is. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Right, let me turn around really fast. Let me make it around here. What does it do? Does it make me faster, I think? I'm not sure if it made me faster. But anyway, the last game we're gonna be reviewing is Flip 3D. In this game, what you're doing is just rotating the cube, and you have to get it to match on the purple square at the end. And it gets pretty hard. So you have to make sure that just line up everything correctly, and just watch, it gets pretty intense. You just have to be careful about where you're rotating. <gasps> no, I fell off. Okay, so my, wait, wait, I think I did that wrong, did I do that? Alright, let me go back, let me go back. Okay, so here, here, wait, is that right? Let me try. Wait, I think, I think this is it. Yes, I got it. There we go. Ooh, this one's gonna be hard. Hmm. Oh, I think I got it. Yep, there we go. There's a bunch of levels in here. It's like 20, I think. Hmm. Ooh, how do I do that? No, I died. Am I going to be able to get through there? Okay, let me go back to the start. Okay. No, I'm not gonna make it. No. Anyways, everyone, those are the top seven 3D games on Scratch. Be sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you'll be notified when I come out with a new video. Thank you for watching. I link the projects down below in the description. And if you want to check them out, just go there, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.